Tylenol and aspirin are common over-the-counter pain relievers, but recent studies show they may help with other things as well. Our health expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, here this morning to explain. Doctor, good to see you. Good to see you. Let's begin with aspirin. What has the research shown? Last week, there was a big scientific meeting in Boston, and at this meeting, they presented a study that showed that aspirin can stop the spread and growth of breast cancer hmm. cells. Now, this was done in mice and in test tubes, so not in humans at this point. Right. It's not the first time that aspirin's been shown to prevent cancer. It's also some other animal studies suggested that aspirin can prevent cancer in colon cancer and prostate cancer. What's behind it? Why is it? Why, what, what's the effect? At least in the study related to breast cancer, it was thought that the aspirin blocked the ability of stem cells, which are sort of tumor factories. It's where all the cells grow very quickly from. It blocked their ability to produce tumor cells. Okay, let's, let's switch on over to uh, Tylenol. What has the uh, research shown regarding Tylenol? A new study um, last week in, from British Columbia showed that Tylenol can reduce anxiety. It was quite hmm. interesting. They took graduate students in psychology and divided them into two groups, and they exposed them to anxious situations such as thinking about death and dying right. and the meaning of life. It's called existential anxiety. And what they found was that Tylenol reduced anxiety huh. significantly in the people who got it. What, what's the effect? How does that work? I mean, I would imagine, you know, it gets into your, your bloodstream. So, and what's the, you know, what, what, I guess, how does it work? Let's put so, it like that. Tylenol crosses right. the blood-brain barrier and it gets into the brain. We know that Tylenol is a great drug for arthritis because it blocks the ability of the brain to perceive pain. Mm. The same pathways that measure physical pain in the brain also measure emotional pain and so that's why that probably works. You as a doctor, do you recommend to your patients to, to take Tylenol and aspirin at this point or do we need to see more research? I think more research needs to be done. Certainly studies that look at this in humans and in specific ways so that we have randomized controlled clinical trials. I think at this point we've got to be careful treating anxiety with Tylenol because there are potentials for overdoses with Tylenol right. if we're not careful. Okay. Good to see you again, Doc. Thank you very you, much. Sir. And of Thank course, you. if you have a question for Dr. Campbell, real easy, just log on to our website, WNCN.com. Search the links we mentioned section from there. You can find Dr. Campbell's website or you can also like his Facebook page and his Twitter.